Hello all, welcome to another exciting episode of Cooking with Heather. Today we're going to be making bacon, cheese, and cauliflower wraps from scratch. Okay, first of all, we're going to be making the dough. One and a half cups of warm water. And then a half. All right, now we're going to get a packet of yeast. And we're going to wait five minutes. Okay, we're back. Now we're going to do something with the dough. We're going to put the dough together. We're going to add the flour. The sugar and the oil. And the salt. Salt and salt. Mustn't forget the salt. And now we're going to mix it together with our hands. And see, as it gets closer to being doughy, and you're going to want to watch this, so we'll just move all this crap out of the way. As it gets closer to being doughy, you'll feel it. And you know, you don't want to use a whisk or anything. You want to use your hands so you can actually feel the process taking place because it's literally the fine art of cooking. You'll be able to tell when it becomes a dough by how your hands feel and how the dough feels in your hands. And see, I can already feel it becoming a dough. And there's a little bit of oil left in here get it all so we'll just put it in now and we'll mix it in be sure to massage the dough and brush the flour off the sides of the bowl so that you get all of it in because we want those bacon cheese and cauliflower wraps to really shine And no, I've never made these, like I've made dough before and I've made wraps before. But you know, healthy cooking is always good and we need to stay healthy, especially in times of COVID. So, and yes, I could have used whole wheat flour for this, but you know, whole wheat flour is a little more expensive. And you know, we also have to be budget friendly in times of COVID. So this is what you're getting today. You know, if you want me to make specific things for cooking episodes, y'all can always send me money to pay for the ingredients for whatever y'all want me to make. And I am perfectly okay with that. People have done it before, people have sent me gifts, and I love them, and I use them, and I am perfectly cool with that. They will get to me eventually. And I'm very flattered when people do that. So if you want to do that, please do that. 
because I am all for my fans supporting me in this Cooking with Heather endeavor. It's been around for years. And this is the 51st episode, I believe. And I hope to make many, many more. I do have plans for future episodes besides this one, and I'm sorry it took so long to get the episodes coming out. But I want to make sure I bring good ideas to the table. I just don't want to bring you simple ideas. I want to bring you good ideas that you can use to make your lives and the lives of those around you better. Anyway, just feel the dough in your hands. Just feel it. Look at that dough. Look at it. Love the dough. Make love to the dough. Massage it. Caress it. Let it know it's loved. Make sure it's, it know it's loved. All right. Now that the dough is together, we're going to put a thing and we're going to put some wrap on it. We're going to zip it. We're going to shut it off for an hour. We're going to seal it up for an hour. This dough is just amazing. I love this dough. It turned out so well. Now we can just get the plastic wrap open. You know what, this plastic wrap is a pain in the butt. Let's do this. some aluminum paper and I go to work just as good. And I'll seal it just as tightly, just as good. that here for an hour. I'll see you in an hour. All right, we're back. And now we're going to take the dough out. We're going to literally put it on here and we're going to roll it out. But first, 
we're going to literally, we're going to put on a mix. I'm going to put the camera over by the stove. Make sure the camera still works. We're going to put a mix sauces on. Salt. Lemon juice and salt and pear juice. Poppy seed. Syrup. All right. We're going to just produce this. Oh, yes, and some pineapple juice. Just a splash. We're going to put some broccolis. We're going to literally put broccoli for, for the wraps in to get nice and flavored up. We're going to saute. And to flip them over and to just, you know, make sure all the brock or the cauliflower gets a turn, flip it with a spatula. And that's all the cauliflower we need. 
So let's clean that up and let that, see, look at that. Look at how it's cooking. It's sauteing ever so nicely. We'll get to that in a minute. All right, now, just move this aside. Brush all this aside. that there. Get to the dough. make it as thin and as just thin as possible. I mean it's still really thick so we're just going to keep working with it. And I've only got so many cutting boards and areas to roll. All right. All right, I need a knife. My knife. Bit of a rinse. this smooth it out smooth it out as thin as it can go bacon should fit into it really should it's a little uneven so let's just fix that right there See how thin this cheese is? We want more. It can be as thin or as thick as one pleases. Who cares? It's thin or thick. Now we need a little of the broccoli mix. Firstly, look at how well it's sauteing. Look at how well that's doing. Anyway, back to this. Just turn that off now. 
We need actually a spoon for this because I do not want too much. the next one.
I'm not talking because it's literally just a matter of watching what I'm doing. And you know what? No sauce because the sauce from the broccoli, from the cauliflower, will literally leak into the dough and it'll just become so soupy and messy. And we don't want that. We literally do not want that, so no sauce. sauteed broccoli and you can or cauliflower and you can saute it however you want you don't have to do it the way I sauteed it but you really should and pinch the sides so that they'll bake shut And some cheese over top so that there's some decor and taste on the outside. All right. All right. Got some extra stuff here. All right. So there you go. Ready to bake. See you once they're baked. All right, we're back. The rolls are ready. We excited? All right, let's get them out. Let's turn the oven off. Oh. Look at how cool they look. Come here and look at how cool these bacon, cheese, and sauteed cauliflower rolls look. Don't those look freaking amazing? All right. All right, so they're amazing. They've turned out absolutely amazing. And so, that's the cooking episode. You know, I love making cooking episodes for the world. I really do. But you know, cooking episodes, they take money to make. They really do. If you want me to take, if you want me to make future cooking episodes, Send me ideas, send me money for ingredients. Really, encourage me. I will definitely make more. But look at how lovely today's food turned out. This is Cooking with Heather, signing off.
And as I sign off, we're going to go back and have another lovely look at these lovely wraps. At these lovely, lovely bacon cheese and sauteed cauliflower wraps. Look at how awesome those look. Are you hungry?